because this is the slogan nowadays. So even at, at your own home, there is a, a difference of opinion. Right now, three generations, they are operating in the workplace, mainly three generations. They are coming with the idea, they are full of excitement. And they are saying, oh, sir, you know, we have, we want to do this. This is the project and these are the, you know, things that we can do. And it is, it can bring these kind of benefits. Very unique scenario where uh, different generations, they are working together at the workplace. And the benefits the organization can accrue and uh, the organizations and the workplaces have is that they are having uh, people with uh, diverse social, cultural and uh, professional backgrounds. And, and the people, when they are working together, they are coming to the workplace, they are bringing ideas, insights, intellect, and it is how you, it, it is contributing towards the effective and result-oriented collective decision-making because uh, when different generations, they work together, for example, uh, we can say that right now, three generations, they are operating in the workplace, mainly three generations. It is uh, uh, Gen X, Millennials, and Gen Z. So uh, you see that there are senior people, with uh, with a different uh, mindset maturity wisdom and knowledge and then the younger generation is there so it's a mix of uh, uh, knowledge expertise and then the, the tech savvy generation being together so i think it's it's contributing a lot towards the workplace but at the same time it is posing uh, challenges because the managers and the organizations especially the hr professionals they have to create an inclusive uh, work environment where the the Cultural backgrounds, the values, and the diversity is uh, being accepted wholeheartedly by everybody. Where the where the open communication, uh, uh, talking about the uh, uh, DEI because this is the slogan nowadays, and then encouraging uh, the people from the older generation and the younger generation to work together, respect each other, uh, uh, give a, a value uh, to each other, appreciate and recognize. So, so I think it can be it can be a great advantage to the organization and to the people in their in their learning and their career growth if it is taken positively and the hr managers and the senior management they play their role uh, they uh, very effectively and creating a work culture where everybody is contributing uh, i think uh, uh, derek is right because right now i am working with a team where the people uh, from the uh, from gen z and uh, from the millennials they, they are working with me you know they, when they are coming with the idea they, they are full of excitement and they are saying, oh, sir, you know, we have, uh, we want to do this. This is the project and these are the, you know, things that we can do. It is, it can bring these kind of benefits. So, so I, I, you know, then this is now uh, my side that I have to be patient. I, I should give them the opportunity. They should talk and I should listen to them intent, intently and patiently. And uh, I should absorb what they are saying. I should not straight away, you know, uh, start giving them advice and, you know, suggestions and recommendations and rejecting their uh, ideas. No, encourage them. Let them come to you with the ideas because they are the people, they are from the present generation. So they have their own. Because what I have seen in uh, uh, today's uh, generation, the youngsters, that they want uh, to be recognized, appreciated and valued in instantly, immediately. You know, they don't want to wait that they have to wait for one year and then some kind of, you know, financial reward will be, will be there or some certificate or some kind of, you know, trophy will be there for them. No, they want uh, to be appreciated immediately. So, you know, you this is the responsibility of the senior people that they understand the youngsters, their mindset, and uh, they give them the opportunity, listen to them, uh, be patient with them, and, you know, start developing the conversation and discussion around that idea. Maybe the idea is wonderful, but then you have to just, you know, uh, uh, fix few things, uh, positives and negatives, and give it the uh, uh, right shape, and then uh, that can be launched at the right time. So I think it is how it should go, and this is what I have been doing as well with my teams. I think, uh, you know, because when, when different uh, generations, they work together, I mean, you know, I will take the example of my own home. For example, we, the parents, we are from different generations. Our children, they are from today's generation. So even at, at your own home, there is a, a difference of opinion. And then the parents, they have to deal with their children very tactfully. Same goes true. Same goes true for the work environment in the organizations. So we have the challenges. What we have, to, what we have to do as the senior people. For example, I am from the uh, from the uh, Gen X right now, and I am dealing with the people from Gen uh, uh, Gen Y or millennials or Gen Z. So you know, yeah, yeah okay, <laughs> you know, you know, this is this is quite natural. So what we have to do, we have uh, we have to uh, keep open communication. We have to uh, uh, listen to their ideas. We have to engage them, you know, because uh, we, uh, you have to create uh, the projects where uh, the uh, intergenerational diversity is there. People from different gen generations, they are working together. Uh, uh, you can go for job shadowing, even, you know, for example, uh, the, in job shadowing, uh, you can ask the younger people, they, should, they can shadow the senior people, and that is how, you know, they can learn from each other. You can, you can start the, uh, the mentoring uh, programs. 
uh, where uh, the uh, where even I, I will say that there can be a reverse mentoring as well. The younger generation can mentor the older people and the older generation, they can mentor the younger generation because both sides need the younger generation. They need the wisdom, the insight, the maturity, the knowledge which the older generation has and the older generation, they need the technology. They need to know about the uh, the ethics and the priorities of the current generation. 